there was unity here. There was love here. I'm from Atlanta, born and raised. I even stayed in Thomasville community when I was a young girl. These are legacy families, and we have to uphold the legacy of their family like we uphold the names that we do know that we roll off our lips so easily. It was a great community when I was growing up. I grew up in Inglewood. It's a project in the inner city. So it's walking distance from Forest Cove. So everything they've been through, I've seen it firsthand. When I moved to Forest Cove, the community was beautiful. You had people that cared about one another. But I think as the years went by, they kind of just gave up. The staff went down and then maintenance went down. I was away at college and I would get phone calls from family members saying something has happened, it doesn't feel as safe, the maintenance is not coming out. Some things you don't want your kids to endure, but some things, you know, I just couldn't hide. You would see trash on the ground, you hear about people getting killed left or right. I drove over there one day and I went up to the fence and I walked the fence and I shed the tears. I had mold, everything, you know, and I, I dealt with it because we didn't have nowhere else to go. For me, it was also a reminder of why I fight to not ever let that happen again on our watch. If we got help before it got really bad, then, you know, maybe it would have been a little bit different. I was maybe 10 or 11 when I moved from the city, so it's a sense of uncertainty. You're not saying, oh, I'm moving because I want to move. I was forcibly removed from my home, and they were too. I was trying to keep my kids together. I was trying to keep my mind together, because I was, you know, depressed over there. It was a lot going on. I knew that I was going to have to move, but I was getting myself prepared. Um, I had even went out looking for houses myself. Most of the places weren't affordable. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's just too high. These are legacy families who were born at Grady and who deserve, if they want to, to be able to die in the city that they were born in. And between being born and dying, they deserve to thrive. Mm -hmm.